Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a couple quick tips on soldering the reed switch and also on your battery pack here, some little tips that you might not figure out on your own. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is the reed switch. Now the reed switch is gonna be a little tricky to solder. What I like to do, if you look close there, you can actually see that there is a, I've kind of hooked a solid gauge wire on there. So now that's kind of held in place. And what I'll do is I will solder that right to it. Now, the weakest part of the reed switch is the, the red kind of casing there. If you get that too hot, the wire, the little metal rod that's sticking out of it will actually just slide right out. So you're gonna wanna not add too much heat to this. So you're gonna get in there, add your solder, and get that on there. Hold it there. Let that cool. And when you're done, you're going to want to put a little bit of shrink tubing over that. Now that it's soldered and it's cooled down a little bit, I'm gonna put a little bit of shrink tubing over this. And I like to cover it just a little bit of it, um, just so we can still see that the reed switch is there. Um, and then same thing, you can use a lighter or the, the heat gun. You'll have heat guns, but if you don't have a heat gun, you can use a lighter to shrink to that. That protects the edge and also keeps that uh, reed switch nice and sturdy. Okay, with your battery pack, you're gonna have your battery charger here. You'll plug this into here and this into the wall and that will charge your battery. Um, and then also in there will be this. Uh, you can plug this in here and plug this here to charge your battery and still run power to it. But we wanna avoid that because you could possibly get too much voltage into your circuit. So we're gonna cut this and utilize the wires that are inside this to power your board. So we're gonna snip the wires there. to expose the two wires that are inside. Once you have those two wires, you can go ahead and strip those out and you'll find that those have those wires. So now you have those. And now with these, you can connect your solid gauge wire or tin these and plug these directly into your breadboard. And that's how you'll get power from your battery pack to your board.